Okay, we're back in here again, I guess. Which makes sense. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Hmm. When I look at you, why? I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. Uh, yeah, let's play some Gwent. I'm curious. You play Gwent? I'm afraid I don't remember her <laughs> at all, but it's okay. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. All right, let's go. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. Okay, well, obviously we're going with our Northern Realms deck. I think we got Vesemir from the last one. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. Our current deck is working, so we're gonna keep it. So, what do we want to redraw? Do we have a lot of siege? We do. We have a lot of siege weapons. So that means this, um, siege expert is worth how much? One, two, three? Three extra? Honestly, it's still not better than Vez having a Vesemir, is it? Even so, what do we actually want to get rid of here? I guess him. I guess we are going to get rid of him. Um, oh, that's not good either, though. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for that Siege Expert card to be worth it, it's, it's kind of tough. You'd have to play a lot of Siege cards to make it m more worth it than a, uh, like a six va another 6 value Siege card. Okay, we didn't get any... We didn't get any Spy cards, which I'm a little bit sad about. So this is going to make it a little bit tough. What are they going to do? Kills the strongest card. It kills both of the strongest cards? Okay, well, we can do this though. And we can get him back. It doesn't- it's passive doesn't appear though? When you do that? Okay, that's news to me. Okay, they decided to play their leader card? Maybe this is a time when I just end round then. And I make them waste their leader card. Although that would only be helpful if I was planning on using, um, like a... Fog later on in the... or some sort of weather effect later on. To make sure that they can't avoid any kind of weather effects by having their leader. Hmm. Also, what is their passive here? Pick a Torrential Rain card from your deck and play it instantly. What was Torrential Rain for? Was that against siege units? It might be. That actually could be a bit of an issue. Because I have a lot of strong siege units. Hmm. I'm a little bit scared now. No matter what I do, I, I'm gonna play my siege units. Let's see if they end up using it or not. I'll do that. It's a bit of a waste of that card, I must say. They're wasting that card to only buff one person? I'm just wondering if I should end turn and let them win a round. I think I shouldn't have used that close combat card, by the way. I think that was a mistake. Which means I should probably... I should probably do this. Okay, I guess we're going all out this first round, huh? So I should do this uh, normally, but in this case I'm gonna do this because I know they can pick a rain card out of their deck immediately. Okay, apparently they can pick one of those out of their deck immediately too. Hmm. What do I wanna pick out here? I don't want to use my leader card just yet. Um, or maybe I should, should I use this? 
Is that the way to go? I'm just worried because they can they can rain as well. Do I just end round and wait till next round? But I can only buff out one of these two cards if I wait till next round. Is that really worth it? That's like having two... I kind of messed up already is the thing. I kind of need to use this, I think. And see if they want to waste their ability. They passed. Okay, so they're giving me the win here. That's fine, I think. Okay, so we got a decoy. That's not ideal. That's actually not what I want, really. I'll start with this. Actually, maybe I should have just passed. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what they just did. What was that? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Okay, so they played this from their discard pile. I kind of feel like I want to just end around here and give them a win, but I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this and then I'll end round. That's the best thing I can do, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was the right move. We'll pass. Then we're gonna win the next round because we have three cards. They only have one card. They're not gonna beat my three cards with their one with their one card next round. All right, what do you got? What's your last card? Okay, it's your it's your leader card. Good job. I've also got a leader card. And I've also got a not leader card. And it doesn't matter if you use your ability now. And you can't anyways because you've already passed. There we go. All right, that works. That works. I fail to understand how I lost that. Oh. I believe this card belongs to you now. Know any other players willing to stake rare cards? Yes, tell me more. Brad, Siggy Reuven's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. All right, we will go there next then. Dix Dijkstra. Oh, we got to go challenge Dijkstra. Morvan Voris. Okay, let's see. What deck is that part of? Let's see. Oh, wow, Vesemir is part of all the decks. That's actually good because that allows us to have an easier time building some of these other decks. And in fact, I think I'm going to remove my Siege Expert cards. I don't think we actually want them in here anymore. It's just not worth it. We'll put in Vesemir instead. Yeah, I think that's fine. I love Commander's Horn. We're going to keep those around in all these decks. But where is- there it is. It's a leader card. Okay, cool. Does this have a special ability? No. Alright, so do we actually have anything other than Northern Realms that can have a real deck? No. Still no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, I'll get out of here and uh, we'll go talk to Dijkstra. I'm actually happy about that. Back again, but I still wish- Maybe, maybe after we do, after we continue the main story, we'll be able to go back to Dijkstra and continue on with his whole, like, Redanian King assassination plot. I'm really hoping we'll be able to do that. All right, here we are, back with Dijkstra. Got I've got his card. Do. What do you want? Yeah, let's play some Gwent. Ever play Gwent? I do. Gwent's like politics, just more honest care for a game against an old master okay yeah yeah let's play let's see how much of an old master this guy really is so of course we still can only do the northern realms don't think there's anything I need to do here right this there's no we don't have a card of the same name for that yeah let's just go okay what do I got two horns Two of these guys, good. We got a spy card, two leader cards. We're, we're gonna have a good looking deck right now. So do I want to get rid of this one? I don't, I think I do. It's my only ranged combat card. There we go. Okay, that's, I mean, I still feel like I might want to re re-roll that though. This one allows me to play a card from my discard pile, so I'll keep it. 
Okay, well, it's still fine. We got a lot of close combat though, so we have to worry a little bit of um, ice. What is your ability? Any right weather effect. Yeah, okay. So we could have a little bit of trouble there. Um, but that's what we're going to have our leader cards for. For when that kind of thing tries to bite us. So we'll start with this. See what happens. Siege Tower. I just want him to use his ability early because we have only close... We have a very one-sided deck. Hmm. Let's see. Play next to a card of the same name, yeah. So if he if he decides to use his ability, I'm gonna use start using my spy cards. That's what we're gonna do. Gonna wait for him to do it. Oh, you're using your leader card. Interesting. So... I'm trying to decide if I want to try to win this one or not. I think I'm gonna do this. I think now is the right time to do this. You gonna use your ability? Yep, okay, there you go. Now they decide to do it. So now is when I use my, um... This. There we go, and now they can't use their stuff anymore. So I'm fine with that. Okay, nice decoy, but you can't get rid of your leader card with that. Alright, is there anything else I want to do here? So I got one of these cards, right? I'll be able to grab one of these guys back later on. Which will be good. So I think we're good to end round here. And we still got another horn for next time. Yeah. We'll let him win this round. I think we're in a good spot. He's already used his ability, I think. Unless he just had that card in his hand. It's possible he just had the card in his hand, but I can't really tell. Okay, we drew an additional card. So they placed down this, placed down the card. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to do this. And then I want to grab one of these guys, I think. Or do I... S no, I can't spy card. I can't spy card right now. That would be a bad idea. We'll do that. Okay, you're doing that? Well, I'm going to do something similar here. But it's not as strong as his version. His opponent, My opponent's passed. Okay. So, would a horn be enough to get me the win here? It would be an extra 16, right? I think that should be enough. It would. Do I want to do that though? Or would it be more efficient to do something else? It might be more efficient to use a leader card. Would it? No, that still wouldn't get me enough. Okay, I think I do need to use this then. Oh, uh, but we're already have a card deficit. We're already at a card deficit. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I think at this point I need to do this. Um, but there's no way I'm gonna win the next round with four four cards against six. Although I do get an extra card in the round, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, it's a siege weapon. Needs to have the same as the... Okay, I need to have a duplicate. But I don't have such a thing. Well, I'll do this. Okay, I, I don't mind that too much, but I, I, I kind of do mind it at the same time. 
At least they didn't use that on a leader card. Guess I should have used a just um, a weaker card first. Okay, that's not a very strong card. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, that is actually a bit troublesome. But it's a good thing I have a bunch of leader cards that don't worry about that at all. So he's still got multiple cards here. That's a close combat one though, which is not gonna do much for him. And then if I got a leader card, I'm still ahead by a good amount. So what do they got with those two cards to fix things up? Okay, that doesn't do anything. That also doesn't do anything. Like, wh what are you doing here? <laughs> what What was the point of that? What are they What are they doing? What are they playing? <laughs> it's just they put on a bunch of. They're just They're just trolling. Deeks was just trolling. Uh, Deeks is just trolling here. That's that's proof that he's a troll. He's just bad. added a bunch of weather so effects then removed them all. Tyson in your deck. Here. Esterod Tyson. Thanks. Know anyone else I could win some cards off of? Oh, this is endless. Endless chain. I know elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Squirtel stragglers have their shanty town. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's endless, endless people to fight uh, card games with. Esterod Tyson. Let me see. Let me see who that or that uh, that card first. Oh, it's a leader card. Okay, so we got another Northern Realms leader card. Doesn't look like they're part of any other group. Okay, cool. Well, I'll go find this uh, this next person then. Here we are. This must be the person. Hey. Nope. You? No, you? You? It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. I'll I'll always forget you, apparently. I don't know who you are. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Actually, I'll ask. It seems like I can ask him how he knows. So I'll do that in a second. What's this? Greater Glyph of Quen. Oh, it's a Greater Quen Glyph. That's a really expensive. Uh, we actually have had some situations where our Quen intensity was a bit of a problem, like f f facing poison specifically. So I think I am going to buy that. Just in case we actually do need it at some point to increase our Quen power. Yeah, you know who I am? You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Broccolon. Broccolon? I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. I mean, he did forget all forget a lot of his memories at one point, so... You play Gwent. In a way, it was a different life? you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine. Beggars can't be choosers, after all. I'll play you. And even stake one of my unique cards. There we go. Let's go. Pull out your cards. So he says unique cards. Does he mean like unique to only him? Because surely not. Um, right. So yeah, Northern Realms. Let's go. See what this guy does. So he goes first. Commander's Horn. Okay, we don't want this. And. We got a spy. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, that's not a spy card. We don't have any spy cards. But we got two leaders. Okay. Not ideal. But this can work pretty well. Especially with those leader cards there. It just sucks having no spy cards. Let me just play this guy. And see what they do. Okay, I mean, I'm, I think I'm fine with that. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. And it... Hmm. I don't want to play anything too high value. So I think what I'm going to... Well, actually, I think what I'm going to do... I can't, um... Replay a leader court card later, but what I can do is I can do this. 
enforce a tie and force them to play another card. I mean, I guess I could do that with any card, right? Let's just do this and uh, force them to play a bit more because we can always get our card back next round. Okay, they're winning by one. Do I attempt to play another card or do I end round and give them the win? It's just they didn't really waste a lot. And neither did I, but I'm able to get my card back next round. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna end I'm gonna end round. I'm gonna let them win this one. It's not a very big round, but it's it's fine. Okay, they played a hero. That's fine. Oh, wait. 15! Okay, they p played Siri. I didn't know- okay, I didn't know they were- uh, that, Okay, well, good to know. Um, I guess I will play... What will I play? I'm trying to think when I want to use this horn, that's the thing. Do I want to use the horn this round? I guess I will. We're gonna do this. <clears throat> they passed. Interesting choice. Um, in that case, what's the most efficient thing? Do I use a leader card? Or do I save that for next round and do something else here? I think I do use a leader card here. I think that's the best thing. Yeah, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna pass. There we go. So we win that round and we get to draw another card, right? Yeah, so now we have a card advantage. Oh, it's a spy card. Okay, that's not that's not great. We'll play that as a last resort. Um, for now, I'm gonna do this. Just to see if they use um, ice. If they use ice, that'll help the spy card, actually. Okay, they've got an archer type leader card. Um, all right, we're gonna do this. What? Hold on. Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield? Plural? So it doesn't have to be the same card? Okay, that is lame. But good to know, I guess, now. Okay, this is quite troublesome, I must say. Gonna do this and then we're gonna get our siege weapon back I think right I probably should have uh, should I have played that later maybe but yeah I think getting our sweet siege weapon back is uh, is the way to do it there we go okay that's fine I'm gonna be doing the same in a second here We're just gonna do that first. What do you got? What's your last card? Nothing. Okay, they have no last card. Okay, well then I just play this. Oh, wrong place. It doesn't matter though. We win. Okay, that was a, a little bit scary, but Damn it all. we got it. Alas, so be it. We've won the card fair and square. Where do people actually get these cards initially? <laughs> Like, where's the, the people manufacturing these cards in this universe? I'd like to go straight to the manufacturer and just buy them. Oh, gave me Cirilla and Frances Francesca. Okay, that's that's big. That's really big. So we got a, a leader card of value 15 that goes on all decks. Okay, okay. Um, let's put a decoy and a horn in there. Okay. Yep, we got Cirilla here. Mort Mortison? 
Okay, so that's still not a full deck either. Didn't we get a second card though as well? What was the second card that we got? <clears throat> it wasn't this guy. I'm not really sure. Well, doesn't matter. Point is, we're getting somewhere. So he didn't say, he didn't tell me uh, to go to anywhere else to get another new card. So I'm curious. If I go to my quest list and I go to my secondary quests, I'm at two out of five strength still only. Okay, so I clearly have a long way to go still in terms of Gwent card strength. However, at least now I have the knowledge that I need to know how to get stronger at Gwent. Again, anytime in the future I run into somebody and it says I can play them Gwent and it's gold, I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna get their cards, I'm gonna level up my card rank, however it is they're, they're like calculating that. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight wolves. Get, can you, I'm, I'm busy, I'm talking. I'm talking! Okay. But yes, I'll just continue to collect cards in the future and we'll see, we'll see at what point we can actually do this tournament. So at this point, I know there's more we can do here in Novigrad. There definitely is. And uh, I'm not saying we're done with going around in Novigrad and doing quests. I think we are gonna eventually come back here and continue doing some quests here in Novigrad. Are there two songs playing simultaneously? confusing it's confusing me anyways as I was saying we'll probably come back to Novigrad and do more of the side quests here um, but for now what I want to do is I actually want to switch to locations um, white orchards are just white orchards is where we started right I think it is and then Velen is where we are wait and then Novigrad is part of Velen isn't it Am I wrong in saying that? Where? Wait, hold on. I'm, I think I'm confusing myself a little bit here. That's Novigrad. Velen. Yeah, okay. Okay, that, that confused the heck out of me. So Velen and Novigrad are the same map. Then there's White Orchard. Uh, Royal Palace is its own map. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to see what places we haven't fully done the side quest in. So Kir Morin is just a small map, right? There's nothing on here. Yeah, there's nothing on here. Okay. Then what I want to do next is I want to go back to Skellige and I want to pick up more side quests here. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, there, I think we have to warp there in order to actually see where are the quests that we haven't picked up. And we already did go on a questing spree in Skellige. So it's possible that there's not much left for us to do. But I just wanted to take a quick peek at some of the notice boards. Okay, yeah, looking at the map, there's a, there's quite a few notice boards that I haven't went to. So, let's go take a look at some of them. See if there's any interesting quests that I might want to do. All right, let's see what these contracts are. Well, actually, let's do this first. Um, to anyone who might know anything from our village, he disappeared. Okay, so somebody disappeared. And somebody was betrothed. Okay, somebody's missing. Change your life, a handbook. I think this is something I actually bought from a merchant recently. Uh, and so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a libertine and brawler extraordinaire from Nazir, with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zircania, used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boat, boot, boots of, bits of strap, and a burst barrel had taken on so much water that two L's more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood on dry land, and that was all that mattered. 
With not a living soul in sight, my stomach and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily the juice nearly poured out my ears, and then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. It was then that I came upon the strange plant that would change my life till the end of my days. Ignorance of its value at the time, I frivolously used it for kindling. Yet as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light as the coastal breeze whisked away all my trouble, whisked all my troubles away. So we found a few, found some sort of drugs, basically. I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching this miraculous weed and its properties. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. You said begin. Uh, okay. So here comes the room. That's the the quest that I picked up on the notice board, I think. Um, and let's see. Where is that? Yeah, okay, so that's a Witcher contract. Again, I think I'm more interested in the secondary quests. Or the side... the... Side quests. Whatever it is they're called. I think it's secondary quests. Although I think it's... Is it the case that... Only Witcher contracts are posted on notice boards? Like, are the quests that are marked with, like, this, are these the ones that are side quests? Or, or secondary quests, and these are the ones that are just Witcher quests? If so, maybe I should just be looking for these kind. I feel like that might be the case. So actually, let's focus on that. Let's focus on the non-notice board quests. Uh, yes I am, Bjorg. Got us some weird Yeblin. You know, Yeblin? Drowners. Oh. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. That sounds simple enough. Also, um, I believe that drowners are killed instantly by my crossbow. Um, I learned I learned that recently. So if we run into them in the water, I should be able to kill them like that. Aye, I was. At least I think that's the case. My cousin gathering our crab traps up the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. I mean, what am I going to do about this? Because the drowners are everywhere. Drowners seem to be literally everywhere, so it's not like it can just murder all the drowners in existence. And the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Ooh, what's that say? All right. Talk to witnesses of drowners. Attack to investigate the place where the drowners were seen using witcher senses. I don't think I really need to investigate. I mean, it, it seems self-explanatory, but I'll ask anyways. You, you never know. I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. 
I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They'd clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. So it's possible it Small wasn't him. comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. Let's try to think you that. if there's any other... Farewell. ...possibility. Because of the fact that it's giving us the option to talk to these people about it. Okay, it is just a Witcher contract. It's not, it's not a secondary quest. Hmm. Because the coat could have been just put on a different person's body. Just trying to think if there's maybe there's, if there's possibly more to this. Okay, so there's no way for me to warp anywhere closer, so we're just gonna have to walk. That's fine. What is this doing here? I'm busy. You're busy? Why was there nice loot in that chest? Hold on. Okay, it's not as, it's not better than what we have, but surprising to find golden loot just randomly sitting there. Ow. Okay, here we are, and yep, as expected, a bunch of drowners. Another victim. That stench. Drowners for sure. Where you think? Nearby. You think, Geralt? You think it could possibly be drowners? I don't know. I'm not so sure. I don't see any drowners nearby. Alright, come over here, buddy. I want to punch you. Well, I don't actually want to punch you, Geralt. I was, I was kidding, Geralt. Please actually take out your sword. Okay, there we go. I do appreciate that their loot doesn't fly away along with their body. I appreciate that quite a bit. Otherwise, it would be um, rather annoying. A chest. Interesting. Um, where is this leading me? Okay, way over there. Okay, a bunch of drowners. Am I meant to just fight them? Like, what am I, what is my mission here? I'm supposed to investigate, but like, yes, there are, there are things here. I understand. And these aren't drowners over here. These are something else. These are the, um, like the harpies or something, right? Siren. There you go. That thing. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that murders things. Good to know. Okay, so that's great and all. I can I can murder the sirens instantly, but that's not helping me actually investigate here. So let's just go to the very center of where it is it's telling us to go, and see if that does anything for us. Whatever it is we're looking for, it's got to show up on our wisher senses. Actually, maybe it's not even in the, in the water. Are we supposed to be looking in the water? Okay, I guess we are, because this is leading uh, leading us there. Uh, where did it go? Are we, are we diving now? Oh. Wait, footsteps? In the water? Do drowners, like have footsteps in the water? Like, I don't understand that. That, that. that doesn't make any sense, right? Am I wrong? Is that supposed to make sense? Oh, this song again. I missed it. I missed this song. Like, I could understand if we're wearing a bunch of armor like Geralt is, 
like sinking to the bottom and walking along the water's bottom. Which, by the way, is kind of weird that we don't do that a little bit when we're wearing heavy armor. Again. Slime and rotting flesh. But like, why would the the drowners move like that? Surely that doesn't make sense. Okay, I need to roll through this. Roll. Okay, never mind. It didn't work. Geralt didn't feel like rolling. Uh, more drowners. Yeah, that's cool and all, but does that actually help us? Oh, hello. Red. Like, does going over there and killing those drowners get us where we need to go? I guess it probably does, doesn't it? Hmm. Fine, I guess we have to go over here and murder them. All right, please come over here. This way. Stab him. Oh boy. All right, you want to murder me, please? Come on, you can do better than that. There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to use Axie, but that's okay. Oh, oh, poison. Ow. Um, it still says there's another enemy nearby. Monster's lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Really? Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Somebody strangled them, okay. Let me just get my loot first. There's gotta be some way to turn all these like red mutagens into actual red mutagens that I can do something with. Surely. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. And yet, this place has a lot of drowners in it. Crushed larynx. Strangled. Hello, chest. <coughs> oh, oops. Shot for poison. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines. Sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. Okay, so it's a water hag. Prayer potion using drowner pheromones and use it to hide your scent. Okay, I think I can do that right now. Alchemy. So what would that be listed as, though? Water hag decoction, oils. <laughs> Drowner pheromones, here we go, yes. All right, yeah, I have plenty of stuff for that. All right, now I need to use it. So can I, can I just use that from the inventory like this? Or is it? Um, I guess I can't. So that increases critical hit chance. This each sun cast increases stamina regeneration for the remainder of the fight. Um, I, I guess I'll replace this one for now. All right. That should do it. Um, and actually, I'm just gonna change it back immediately just so I don't forget. Although I don't use po potions that often. It is nice to have. Wait behind those boats. All right, let's go behind the boats. Okay. 
Okay, first off, what's in here? Steal all the stuff. And also what's in here? Steal all the stuff. Now I do this, then I eat, and then I attack. Where are you at? There you are. Ah! Wrong, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Fine. Oh my gosh. Calm down. Calm down. I need to get rid of these drowned dead first so I can focus on a one on one fight. Where are you at? Uh, you're gonna attack me? Abaya. Well, there we go. Yes, yes. We don't need to see that cutscene. Just grab their stuff, and I guess we can get out of here now. But there was a, there's another exit, right? <coughs> and also, wasn't there like another area that I needed to explore? That wasn't just here. I thought there was. There's like a second location to investigate. Was there not? Yeah, this is a different entrance, sure. But... I thought there's like a second investigation spot around there too. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, there was a second investigation spot, because I can investigate this, although he's not saying anything about it. But I guess it's no longer relevant. And we're back! Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Mores, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Really? You've never seen anything as ugly as a water hag? Drowners are pretty ugly, you know. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. I find well that hard to imagine. That he's never seen anything uglier than a... As ugly as a water hag, but okay. Thanks. So long. Yeah, we don't need to, we don't need to, ha we don't, we don't need to haggle with people. We're all good. Okay. No so that was cool, but it was still just a Witcher contract. So, do the like the things at the bottom there? Does is that is that relevant somehow? Like, does that matter? That's something I've been curious about. So, undiscovered location and Gwent lessons. I'm currently taking on pupils. This guy next to me, be quiet. <laughs> he's, I don't know what he's saying. The NPCs are always so talkative when you're just walking around them. Gwent lessons. I'm currently taking on pupils for lessons in, play in the playing of Gwent. I shall only teach those who display discipline, a logical mindset, and the will to learn. Those with special aptitude are particularly welcome. Pupils must acquire and supply their own decks. I'm also seeking more experienced players as partners to provide a challenge and a chance for the mutual improvement of our skills. Ermion. Druid. Yes. Yes, 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 win a unique card from Ermion. Okay, now there's an actually useful uh, side quest. So I think I'm gonna go do that immediately. I assume that it's gonna be a similar kind of chain of quests here in Skellige. That's gonna lead me like from card to card. I'd imagine that the way that the developers set it up no matter which one of the people in the chain you you talk to first, you'll be able to battle them for a card, and they'll tell you this the next person in the chain. It's probably like a, a complete circle that it makes. Um, but wait, hold on a second. Where is this? Where is this telling me to go? I don't see the marker. Am I blind? Am I blind? Where where am I going here? Is it not in Skellige? It is. It is in Skellige. So where's Ermion? I am confused. What if I retrack it? 
still don't know. Okay. So, Ermion, I've heard that name before. But the only person that comes to mind is that druid that was under, like, was where that place was that, um, the, um, what am I trying to say? The coronation happened, or, or whatever it was called. But let's take a look at the druid's camp. Wait, I'm, I am at a signpost. Sail straight, I mean. We'll take a look over there first. I don't think this is it. But I'm going to go try to find Ermion. Maybe I haven't found him yet, and that's why I can't you know I the see him on the map? The is like, the is one of you Ermion? Hello? Don't you think I'll a just because you oh! Mm. A place of power. Magic. A place I mean, of power. why not? We've already have more ability points than we need, but we'll grab that anyways. Anybody? Anybody named Ermion? Hello? 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 Okay. Guess not. Okay, yes, this was it. So, is Ermion the uh, the one with a potion symbol in here? He might be. I Can I put away my, my sword? Please? I don't need my sword out. Well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, not here, apparently. Thank you. Alright, so I put away my sword. Where... Where am I going here? North. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, there's a quest over here too. You must pass your knowledge on. I'm no Looking around, looking around. Ermion, Ermion, where are you at? Wait, what? I got a new quest? Ask the druid about the grimace? What? Who? What? Yes. What do you seek? Kind old geezer, I just saw you talking. I to. was not paying attention to what you were talking to. One of our circle, Gremist, an exceptional alchemist, but a stubborn main ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceress is welcome apprentices, am I right? Not Gremist. So many formula in that head, so many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins, but he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Well, I mean, that's his, uh, that's his choice. He doesn't have to share them. Why is he averse to having an apprentice? How should I know? Perhaps because he's a stubborn mean ass. Hmm. Talk to Grimmest? I mean, I don't, that's not who I'm looking to talk to, but I guess I'll talk to him talk since to I'm you, here. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. <laughs> I distress you? How do I distress I want you? you? to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. <laughs> My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if they'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> and that's so. Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, letter A. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. Is if that all think true? I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. I promised to be a good student. <laughs> Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me. And I shall accept you as my apprentice. I mean, that's... Well, well. There's a way after all. That doesn't sound too bad. High horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, 
Convince Fritjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Well, I'm not really interested in alchemy or learning in learning alchemy, but I'm gonna do it anyway, so yeah. Alright, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Sounds like a really good deal for him. He gets me to do free stuff for him. And he doesn't even have to give me anything in return, really. Okay, so we- that is an- that sounds like an interesting quest. Yeah. Okay, it's a secondary quest. Good. We're definitely gonna be doing that. We're definitely gonna be doing that. But I wanna find Ermion. <laughs> Where- where's this Ermion person? I'm confused. I'm still so confused. Is it- is my map bugged? Or does he not have a location? Or is he dead? Or have I never met him? I don't get it. Huh. Well, whatever. I guess for now then we're gonna have to give up on the finding the unique card. And instead, I guess we're gonna go with this, this quest. But before that, we will save. I think we did plenty of stuff for today, um, going through a lot of Velen and doing a bunch of the various quests there. So at this point, um, I think we're going to finish up this next this quest next time, and we'll see what other kinds of um, secondary quests we can pick up as well next time. Obviously, we we'll, we still have a few of these. Um, we got this one in in, in, uh, in Overguide, but it's only level seven. It's probably not anything too crazy. We got the the, the Fist of Fury one, sure. Um, but I think the other than the, the one I'm most interested in is just this Advanced Alchemy one for now. And once we're done with that, we're gonna look for a few more secondary quests in Skellige, but not too many. And then we're gonna go into continuing on with the main quest. So next time, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start the main quest again and we're going to continue on with it i don't think we're going to spend too much more time in skellige doing side quests because we already actually went through skellige a bit and did some of the side quests here so we don't need to comb it too thoroughly um but this alchemy one does seem like it could be interesting i'm glad i finally have a bit of a stronger deck now for my gwent cards i'm fi glad i finally understand how to get more gwent cards and just like last time, I'm still very much enjoying these side quests. Um, although some of them are now getting a little bit repetitive, so that's a sign that we should probably move on to the main story. That's why I'm. That's why I'm gonna get to it. That's why I'm gonna get to it soon. I'm gonna get moving with the main story a little bit soon. Um, it's mo mainly the Witcher contracts, though. It's the Witcher contracts that are kind of the same. You find some place where somebody was attacked. You search it with your Witcher senses. You find the monster. You kill the monster. You head back. Very simple. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. They are fun uh, and they're relaxing, but they're nothing too, too crazy either. So the once we're, like I said, once we're done with the side quest, we'll move on. So I guess I'll see you guys next time for continuing becoming an alchemy apprentice and then continuing on with the main story. See you then.